Hello everybody, my name is Ghostbit and here we are with the health bar and health system tutorial. I decided to make this due to the fact that in the last video it was received poorly, mainly because of the fact that the audio quality was very low. That is on my fault there, I did record it poorly. And because I felt bad, I decided to give you guys a proper tutorial on how I go about making my own health system. And on top of that, I'm going to show you guys how we can make that work in a health bar. And uh, this is labeled one out of two because on the second part, we're going to have fun with that health bar and uh, make it appear and disappear when damage is being inflicted. So without further ado, let me explain what I have. I have a basic uh, node scene with that's called test scene and the player is inherited. And in, in, in a player, he's just simply a character body 2D with a, a simple collision shape. A sprite to the which once of course we're using the Godot uh, label here and then we have our health label this is a label type and all I have is it's centered for horizontal alignment and then I checked font sizes and I cranked it up to 50 feel free to mess about a value there but that's what I have without further ado let's dive right into the coding so the first thing we're gonna do is create a couple of variables so we're gonna do variable var max health and we're going to have that equal to 100 and then we're going to do var current health we're going to have that equal to var oh no no we don't need to put that i just realized i called it var <laughs> max health and we're going to have our current health equals to max health space max health the reason being is we are storing max health, which has uh, stored in it a, a value. And, and we're going to store that into a string. And you're going to see in a minute as to why I have it like that. So we're going to create two functions. We're going to do function, of course, ready. And then for now, we're just going to hit pass. And then we're going to have a second function here, function. And we're going to call this set health label okay so in here we're going to do something to make our health a visible all we're going to do is called health let's see here health label oops i forgot one more variable so there's one more very important variable we need to call the label that we have attached so we're going to do an at on ready var and we're going to call it health label and we're going to have that equal to what we have which we call the health label fantastic and we're going to dive right back into our function ceph health label and we're going to call health label dot text and we're going to have that equal to strings and we're going to we're going to call let's see here health and then we're going to add and string and this is where we called current health okay so this is a way of doing it this is how I prefer but there is a different way to go about it so the other way we can do it and I've seen it in the comment sections uh, uh, there are different ways to go about doing this um, I prefer this first version here it's simple and I, I understand it, but there's nothing wrong with this next version I'm going to show you. So I'm giving you two ways to go about doing this. The second way is I'm going to comment out what we wrote and we're going to comment in this other version. So this other version is health label dot text and then we're calling in a string health, but we're putting this percentage. Uh, see of this percentage as in a placeholder as in we are placing something here. And then literally in the next line, we're gonna define that placeholder as current health. So instead of writing string current health, you can do it like that as well, percentage, and then have that placeholder be defined in the next uh, line here, current health. Again, this works just the same way as this way. There's nothing wrong. In fact, I can show you right now. So let's show you the way that we wrote it. So let's comment that out here and then let's go to our test scene and then 
Oh, right. I forgot to put, I forgot to pass set health label, of course, or else it's not going to work. Duh. Okay, so watch, watch. It's going to show the health, right? That's great. And then if we go back and then if we just comment this out and then comment that in, once again, see, same thing. So they both work the same way. It's just, you know, you choose whatever, whatever you, is easier for you to understand. So without further ado, let's continue on. So we are going to create a, another function here and we're going to call this take damage. Then we're going to pass along a string here. We're going to do damage amount. There you go. Okay. So in here, we're going to define current health got the output here equals damage amount so we are updating our current health which is equal to our max health and we're equaling that to this new value that we have here and we want to actually since we're taking damage we want to do minus equals damage amount and then we're going to write an if statement here we're going to say if current health is less than or equal to zero then we're simply going to kill the player, Q free it. And then after this line, we want to pass set health label because we want to update our health label to the current damage. So that way, so this function here is being passed to two, which is the ready, and it's also checking damage here. So uh, let's test this out. We're going to go ahead and go to project, project settings. We're going to go to input map and we're going to type in, uh, let's do damage. And then in damage, we are going to push space. It's a simple, there you go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create another function. And this one's going to be function underscore input. And then in it, we're going to do if event dot is action press damage, then we're going to do take damage. And how much we're going to take? We're going to take 10. So we are passing in the value of 10. Okay, let's go ahead and test that out. We're going to go back to scene player, the scene. And then if I hit the space bar, voila, it updates. And then if we get to zero, we die. So the reason why I like to do it this way for my health system is that you can see that you can pass take damage anywhere. We can like literally plug in a signal. We can create a signal up here and plug it in. And then instead of pushing it here, we can push it to like to an enemy and plug that in. That's how flexible this, uh, this health system is. And this is what I always prefer. It's easy and straight to the point. And like I said down here before, whatever helps you out, uh, there's several ways to go about coding. So whichever way is more easier for you to go about it. So that is the health system. Now let's go ahead and create a health bar to show you guys um, how to update that. Uh, the health as we take damage okay so now we're going to create a health bar and we're going to display our our current health system on the health bar the first thing we're going to need to do is add child and we're going to have to grab a what's called a progress bar so we're going to head and grab that and we're going to move that up that's our w key move it up there so you can barely see this thing so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit i'm going to click on progress health bar and we're going to get rid of show percentage because we don't need that and we're going to we're going to go ahead and set up our, our bar here because right now we can barely see anything. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we are going to go to layout and then transform here. And we're going to change the size of the sucker here to let's do 120. Perfect. See, now we can kind of see what we have here. And then let's bump up to like maybe 30. Let's make it 30. 30 looks good. Yeah, 30 looks good. So we've transformed the size of our health bar to 120 pixels to 30. And then that is a good. And the cool thing about Godot is we can create our own health bar here. And we don't have to go and like create one or draw one. We can literally create one here. So let's go ahead and stylize our bar here. We're going to go to theme overrides and we're going to do styles. And we're going to do both background and fill. Let's go ahead and click on background and we're going to do style box flat we're going to click on that and then voila that looks amazing uh, we're going to click on the color here feel free to mess with the, any color you like i'm going to go with uh, four 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 
All right. Well, because of the background, let's 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 just make it black. Well, not too black. Feel free to choose whatever color you like. I'm just going for like any color. It doesn't have to be what I have, but I went for like more uh, darker here. And then that takes care of our background. Now we're gonna go to our fill. We're gonna do the same thing, style box flat, and then we're gonna click on that. And we're gonna do a lot of changes here. So let's go with boater width, and we're gonna switch this to two by two by two by two. And then for our Border, we're going to have the same color as what we have here. So if we go back up here and copy the hex code here for the border, I want that to be the same color because if it's a different color, it's just going to look funky here. And then we're going to do V. And I don't think it was that. Oh, no, that's the previous copy. It looks like 262626. Border color. It was a little bit darker than that. There you go. So that way it looks solid and clear and clean. And then we're not going to add a corner radius. You can if you like, but I'm going to leave it as, as it be. So now if we go back all the way up and we do value, uh, let's do 50. Voila. We forgot to change the bar. It's currently gray and we don't want gray. Uh, we forgot to change the fill. I'm going to do like a blue like a light blue see oh that looks cool you can feel free to change it to like a green you know that looks that looks good that makes sense and then if we change mess with the values here we just do like a hundred and then that fills up all right let's leave that back to zero okay now let's go ahead and make this actually work with our current health system so we're going to go and create another add on ready and we're going to call our health bar or we're, we're going to do var and we're going to call it health bar and it's going to equal and I forgot to change the name but we can just leave it as progress bar so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see here. Uh, we're actually going to comment this out and all we're going to do is call health bar dot value equals our current health and of course we need to make that work so we're going to get rid of set bar here and we're always simply doing is the same thing health bar dot value equals current health we're updating that here and here and with that that's literally it well, if we go ahead and it still works see voila I hope you enjoyed this first video. Thank you very much for subscribe. I hope you subscribe uh, because there's going to be a part two. Um, so that way we don't have to go ahead and do all this. And we technically don't need the self-help label after the health bar. Thank you very much for watching. So hit that subscribe button so we can see the next video where we mess with the current health bar. And we can make it appear and disappear every time we take damage. Thank you very much. My name is Ghostbit and I'll see you in the next video.